Hi, I thought you might like to have a look at the uh, conditions today. Um, we've got the wind uh, pretty well uh, dead up the clacker, uh, which is a uh, pity. They don't really like it right behind us, obviously. Uh, the wind's blowing uh, 25 to 30 knots the whole time. It's, it's quite a steady breeze now, whereas it has been giving us um, squalls. There's a reasonable side waves. You probably can't see the wave because the waves just don't come up well on camera, do they? As you very well know, well, they uh, can uh, push the back of the boat around just a little bit like that one just did. So, I'm just going to show you about what we're doing uh, with the sail configuration. And when I say we, I mean sea life and me because, uh, you know, I'm single-handed doing the Atlantic this time. So, um, my considerations for the sail plan to keep us safe because I'm not overly much worried about um, the, the time that it takes me. I just want to be able to get there with, uh, with uh, no big damage or no damage at all. It's, the way I like to do it. Okay, so we've got 25 to 30. We've been having squalls, but no, no squalls so far today. But all day yesterday, squalls up to 45 knots. So on the main salt, you can see it there. Well, we've got a double reef in the, uh, the main. We've had the double reef in there for a couple of days now um, because uh, with a 45 knot squall around the place, I don't like going from one reef to two. I prefer to... to to keep to keep it in there um, uh, yeah, until I don't need it anymore. Um, now there's the Genoa uh, hold out, but there's not much Genoa there. See how it's more or less matching the um, the main sail. Oh, isn't that good? I know, good little sail. Um, now I could have a little bit uh, more out than that, but the sail is UV damaged, so um, I'd just be uh, putting it in a position where it could split at any any tick of the clock. Now the other thing is if you had more sail out, much more sail out now, with these waves, you see the, the way the boat sort of moves around a reasonable amount. When a wave comes up like this one and then just pushes you on the back, you see the way the, the solar panel goes up and up and down across the horizon line. So um, you know it's a reasonable amount of movement. Here's another wave coming up there but it'll do a different thing because it's coming from a slightly different direction. Uh, yeah, it's as stable as we're on rails. Um, just gives us a little surge as we surf down it. Um, so probably when we're surfing, we're probably doing seven or eight, but uh, on this configuration of sails on this wind, um, which is basically at the moment just about 25 solid, um, is with this setup, is we're doing exactly six knots on average. And, um, oh, funnily enough, I turned the engine on to charge for a little while this morning, so I took the, the propeller off the, the fixed part. And so with the propeller spinning, we're getting an extra half a knot, um, uh, just extra half a knot. Uh, so it's amazing the amount of drag a fixed propeller has got under some conditions, you know. And obviously if we were going faster, so closer to hull speed to have less effect. Um, so uh, there you go. There's uh, my considerations. For you, for your ideas, I, I could be doing it all totally wrong, but six knots is fine for me because that's 144 miles a day. Uh, in the last three days, we've had uh, oh, 149 miles a day, 150 miles a day. Oh, sorry, 149, 148, 136, or 139, something like that. Um, and uh, six is 144, so we'll do, you know, 140 or something like that if it stay like this. So looking fine. I can do with a few less knots and make it a little bit nicer uh, uh, for me. With different boats and different folks and different strokes. All right, you have a nice day. Bye bye. I'm going back to my sailing.